In order to set up call to action, click call to action. Call to action is one of the most flexible sections of Booster Theme. Right now we have a heading, some text, and a button. You could see it reflected right here. We could move these around to our liking. So I could move it under, or I could put the button on top if I wanted to, and it'll be reflected here. So what if I want to customize the content or customize the heading? I could click heading and change this text. To change the text color of the heading text, change it right here. You could click here and choose whatever text color option you want by sliding the slider. To change the font family, you could change it by clicking this or by clicking this. And they'll go from the base font family to the title font family. To change the font size, click here. And we can make it big, or we can make it small. I'm going to leave mine as big. And I'm going to move this heading to the very top. So to do that, I go back. I move this heading to the very top. And it's reflected here. If I want to add content, I could do that by clicking here and choosing one of these options. I will slide down and choose newsletter. And it's reflected right here. To change the newsletter provider, I could click here and choose between Shopify or MailChimp. I could also go to input and change the maximum input width by moving this slider. And that will be reflected here. We can change the input text color by clicking here, or we can change the input background color by clicking here. We'll make this one blue. And that change is reflected here. If I type in, you'll see that input text color is red. I will change it back, so I'll go to none, and I will bring the input background color to none. If we want to change the placeholder text, we can do it here. I'll say place your email here. Cool. There's also a button option here. We can choose between primary combination or secondary combination. I'll click secondary combination. And I'll go back to primary combination. And it's reflected here. We could also change the text inside of this sub, uh, inside of this button box right here by changing this. Let's say we want to modify the button. We could click it and change the text. So we can change it from so we can change it from shop now to buy now. I like shop now, so I will put shop now back and it's reflected here. We can add a link here. So when you click this, it will link you to a certain area. So if I click it, it gives me some options or I could place an actual link in here. I can choose a button icon. So I can go to Unicon's library here, and I could choose a button icon and place it here. I will paste the one that I chose. And it adds it there, at the very start of your button text, right there. We can change the icon position to the left or to the right by clicking this option here. We can also make the button full width by clicking this. It's really cool. If we want to change the color combination, we could change it with this drop down. I really do like that color, so I'll leave it. I could also go to button type and choose a button type here. So I can go filled, 
can go ghost underline and text I'm gonna put it right back at, def at default that's awesome so I'll go to font size and I'll choose a different font size if I want so I click this I go to medium and that's awesome look at the difference Wow so we're gonna go back to base I like it at base but you can choose it to your preference and that's one of the really cool things about the call to action section so we can change our font here from base font family to title font family and we could even add an animation so we can do a heartbeat and there's tons more to choose from rubber band it's really cool and we could also change the text which is very similar to heading I'll click it and we could change the width we can change the content text, the text that's here. So instead of saying professional, we could say uh, best. And that will reflect here. We could decide if we want to make best in bold by selecting it and pressing bold or italics or put a link on it. I mean, there's just so many options you could choose inside of the setting. You can change the text color. We can make it this cool color here. And we could also change the font family here. Or we can also change this width. And that will change the width on desktop. All right, if we click add content, we can choose to add tons of more content options from countdowns, highlighted text, images, so much more. But I really want to show custom heading, custom text, and custom button. What custom allows you to do is customize more than the regular settings. And that's something that is allowed in the call to action section. So if you click custom heading, there's some custom settings that are different than the normal heading section. So it allows you to personalize it more to your liking. Thank you for watching this video. Please refer to our Help Center for more information.